Hi, this is Chad the Van Man with Sherry Vans in Piqua, Ohio. Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new Ram Pro Master that's been upfitted by Waldock up in Minnesota into a nine passenger luxury van. And then we had it sent out and added a uh, Brawnability UVL, which is an acronym for under vehicle lift, to the van. Uh, we also kept in the uh, quick release seat bases for the two captain's chairs where the wheelchair would go. So this van will uh, still retain its nine passenger uh, functionality if need be, or you can take those two chairs out and it would become seven plus the wheelchair. So let's have a look. This particular one is the Patriot Blue. Now I've already got the UVL in the deployed position here. This will hold 750 pounds. So you just roll your wheelchair right onto here. Uh, you've got the little controller here, hit up, it's going to lift that flap up there, prevent you from rolling off, and then this is just going to lift right up. So I'm not going to go all the way because we got the skirting on that chair and this bridge plate can hit that and mess it up, but you get the idea. So all four of these captain's chairs are on quick release pedestals, just like this one. Push down this little tab here, pull this long handle, it will release the chair, and you can pull it right out. Uh, other than the chair weighing about 75 pounds, this is really easy to do. Uh, also, this little level lever here, you can hit that, and you can turn the chairs. So you can spin all four of these and have them face the opposite direction if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and Get this lift out of the way, finish this video. You just hit the stow button there, it'll get itself level, and it will go back into this cassette. Uh, the nice thing about these under vehicle lifts, other than this little motor right there, it's not taking up any space inside of the van. And then like I said earlier, you can keep the, uh, the nine passenger functionality of the van. So what makes the ProMasters the best for this application here so they're all front wheel drive. So you've got no drive shaft running back to the rear axle, which allows this floor to drop six inches behind the driver and passenger seat. And that's on every ProMaster. But that six inches, you're just gaining up on the top. So this has an interior height of six foot two, which I'll show you in just a minute. But this door is 50 inches wide and 65 inches tall. So inside here, this is the beautiful diamond stitching on these seats and they're also uh, perforated so I don't know what they call this color but it's a little off-white it's kind of a creamy look but it's it's very pretty and here's the Q-strength uh, ratchet straps so you push down on that little red tab that I just did with my foot and then this is already uh, then you hit that and it will bring the tension back and pull it all the way in or you can turn this knob here one click at a time to fine tune this thing if you want to. Also, you pull on that, slide it, and it pops right off so it's not on there anymore. No one's gonna be tripping on these or anything if you're not gonna have a wheelchair in here. And this has a heavy duty rubber floor. It's very textured. So I don't think you need to worry about the wheelchair uh, slipping around in here at all. Now this has a 32 inch Jensen Smart TV that's power, it folds down. It's not the fastest thing in the world, so I went ahead and put it down earlier. But uh, here's the power button for it. I'm holding that, and you can see the TV's going right back up into the van. And I'll get it the rest of the way up. Uh, all of these windows here have uh, roller shades on them. So I've got them all pulled down and locked uh, just to make it a little darker, uh, the aesthetics of the video a little bit better. But here's a controller for the TV. All the cup holders are lit up blue. We've got individual switches for reading lights for all the chairs. Uh, here we've got a uh, radio here for the back. It's also a 110 power outlet. If you've got a gaming console or something, uh, you can plug into that. And then this thing's wired to that TV. So with this HDMI port, you can plug a gaming console or whatever into that. And then it would be connected to the TV. So uh, they've added speakers here. So these speakers uh, default are going to run 
uh, some wireless headphones that come with the van. But there's this tab right here you hit for audio and you can get that sound to come into the back. Uh, the blue lights, you can turn on and off if you don't want those in there. And then uh, this video button uh, gives you the power to that TV. So like I was saying earlier, six foot one interior height in here. So you got plenty of headroom. And then with these wall dock vans, we've got this overhead storage here on both sides. We've got two of them on the driver's side and then one on the passenger side. You can't do one above the door. Uh, this here is the rear climate control for the back of the van. So you get some good cross air blowing across here, so heat or air conditioning. And then in the sidewall, I've got cubbies there with storage. Uh, got USB ports at every seat with that reading light. So, and then the, the one in the door here is controlled right down here. So again, all four of these chairs are removable. All four of these chairs turn around. And then we've got a bench here in the back. Uh, it looks like there's not a lot of leg room in here. That's because these seats are slid all the way back and this bench is slid all the way forward. But all four captive chairs move forward and back. And then this bench will move forward and back as well. But you cannot do it when the van is running. So. Uh, two cup holders in there and then this thing will make it down into a little bed which I'll show you here later get outside and uh, do a little lap around around it here fixed running boards although they did have to cut a hole in this one to put in the under vehicle lift and this is uh, Patriot Blue got black wheels on it um, the first comment beneath this video is a link to the listing. If you click on that, I've got like three dozen photos of this, uh, pricing information, VIN number, etc. So here in the back, we've got a uh, reverse camera right up there at the, at the top. These doors go all the way around to the side. They won't hit. It does that on both sides. We've got a, a lot of crap back here, so I apologize for that. Uh, that door flings all the way around as well. We've got uh, six by nine speakers added. Get this thing out of the way. Sorry about that. So this thing they call an add a back, and this adds to that bed, or you can just use it as a shelf. You, know, you put stuff underneath of it, put stuff up on top of it. But the add it back, this bench is power. Here's the buttons to slide it forward, make it lay down. But if you pull all three of these headrests out, this will lay down flat, fill that up, and then this just adds another, whatever, like 15, 16 inches to it. Hop up here in the front. Got the fixed running boards on both sides. Nice modern styling there. Fog lights down in the bottom. This is a high roof ProMaster, long wheelbase, 159 inch wheelbase. This van is 100 inches tall, so eight foot four. Uh, the, these front chairs are all manual. So this handle here will raise and lower the front part of the cushion. This handle here will raise and lower the back part of the cushion. And then you've got a bar right there to slide the chair forward and back. Inside, an the armrest, this little thing here will adjust how far the armrest will go down. Or you can make it to where it's stuck up like this. You just adjust the armrest. Uh, locks here, power windows, no power mirrors on this one. These mirrors you have to adjust by hand, but you only got to do it once. Uh, here is rear climate control. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. That turned out the AC for the rear. And then there's that switch for the blue lights. Turn those on and off. Uh, the steering wheel will telescope. Does not tilt, but it telescopes. Those are on there. 
So push button start. This is just an interlock. This is the CPU that marries the lift to the van. So like here, that's lit up PB, that's parking brake. That's lit up because we're in park. It's just kind of telling you what's going on with the lift. And that keeps the lift from uh, being deployed while you're driving. Only 260 miles on it. Those would have all been accrued when we drove this to Indiana to have the lift installed. A little bit of storage up here in the cockpit. This does have a select shift transmission. Uh, here's the uh, power brake. So you just push on the brake here and push that to release the parking brake. This always has to be engaged to uh, deploy the lift. Uh, Bluetooth controls here, cruise controls there. Select shift transmission. So you take this down to D, push that over, and then you can manually, up here, you see where that three is? You can manually change the gears. One through nine. It says a nine speed transmission. Uh, if you feel like uh, getting squirrely in this thing, push that over, and then you're back into drive. I'm gonna reverse huge reverse camera display here this is the uh you connect 5 system uh with ram but this is a 10.1 inch display We've got a wireless phone charger right here you just stick your phone right in it will charge it here's your key fob this unlocks the rear doors and the side door this unlocks the two front doors and that locks them and then that's the panic button right there we got the climate controls for the uh for the front right here, which you can also do up from the touch screen if you want to. You hit climbing here and you slide your finger to adjust fan speed or temperature. It's hot in here, so I'm gonna leave it how it is. Uh, got another um, power outlet. And there we've got another uh, 12 volt plug, got USB cables. This does have um, navigation on it provided by TomTom. Tom. You don't like this setup. This does have uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can just pair your phone to the uh, van. This is all wireless, and then you can uh, use, uh, like if it's an Android, you can have Google Maps and YouTube Music and stuff on there. Uh, the only downfall to it is it's uh, in the being wireless, is that it takes up um, a Wi-Fi signal. So this has built-in Wi-Fi from RAM, uh, since this starts off as a commercial vehicle, uh, all of these vans, you know, you've got like plumbers or HVAC guys or Amazon delivering your packages, they need to have internet in the van. So Ram uh, builds them all with uh, the ability to turn that on and off through AT&T. It's a monthly subscription. I think it's like $30 a pop. But um, anyways, it takes up that Wi-Fi when you're using the Apple CarPlay. So you can't you have your phone connected to the Wi-Fi and connected wirelessly to that. This does have a digital rear view mirror here also. You can turn that off if you want. I don't know why you would ever want it off. I would always leave it on. Kind of difficult to see out the back of that. So, there's that right there. So, again, we are uh, Sherry Vans in Piqua, Ohio. It's a 2023 Ram Pro Master that was first upfitted by Waldock into a luxury van and then upfitted with the Braun Ability uh, wheelchair lift, the 750 pound weight capacity. The first comment beneath this video is a link to its listing where you can see pricing, probably 30 different photos of it, VIN number, etc. It's also a link to my personal contact info, Chad the Van Man. So if you have any questions on this van, please reach out to me. Uh, or if you have any questions on any of these other vans out here, let me know. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks, folks.